Well, it was already um, obvious that the as we when I first got involved in this uh, in this is 15 years ago, we had not yet one billion online. Then we celebrated one, the first billion users online between the two summits in 2003 and 2005. And now we have 3.6 billion online. And the new users come from the developing world, from different regions where they speak different languages, come from different cultures, have different sensitivities. And that obviously also shapes the internet. And uh, the internet has also evolved. I mean, we do have now a multilingual internet. The internationalized domain names allow it, make it easier for people who use a different language than English and a different uh, script than the script we used to, the ASCII, when speaking or writing in English. So it has become much more global and we have to take uh, also that into account. The, uh, as I said, the sensitivities then may well be different. The internet got started in the US, on the West Coast, in a very libertarian environment of the 60s. And it is part of the DNA of the internet, that it is open. The openness of the internet is, was done was built in consciously by the fathers who invented the technology because they, they wanted it to be an evolving technology that would impo make possible to let it develop and evolve. They did not construct something that was finished as such. And the uh, very, uh, again, the underlying ideology is one of freedom of expression, of openness, of universality. And this global, open, interoperable internet, uh, this may also be a key challenge that we keep it the way it is, as some countries are not comfortable with that and would be more comfortable with the internet that corresponds to the offline world that is an internet with national borders.